While we've seen more clouds certainly than sun the last few days, the sun will return and when it does, you want to make sure that your eye protection is actually protecting you. UV damage can damage the eyes surface tissues as well as the cornea and can lead to skin cancers and premature aging. So here are some suggestions to help you pick out the right sunglasses and to lower your risk of developing blinding eye diseases. It's summertime, the perfect time for some fun in the sun, but you need to protect more than just your skin. In my pink I don't think most people think about either the exposure of sun. Oftentimes they'll think about it on their body or their face, but maybe not around uh, the eyes. Unfortunately, the skin around your eye is some of the most vulnerable to the sun, uh, both in terms of just sun damage, but also in terms of developing cancers. Not wearing sunglasses can also cause cataracts, abnormal growth called trilgium, macular degeneration, and skin cancer around the eyes. But how can you make sure the glasses you are wearing are protecting your eyes? First, they should actually wrap around a bit. Fun frame shapes are cute, but don't always cover your entire eye, and darker doesn't always mean better. A dark pair of glasses, while may be your preference, doesn't necessarily mean that you have great UV protection. Look for a UV protection level of 95 to 100 percent, and just because your glasses are expensive doesn't mean that they are protective. Cheap, no-name glasses can be effective if they have the label. Now, sunlight can have positive effects. Keep that in mind as long as you protect your eyes from UV damage by wearing sunglasses that have that label. You need a little natural light every day to help you sleep well because the light sensitive cells in our eyes play an important role in our body's natural wake sleep cycles. Now, spending time outdoors in the sun can also help prevent nearsightedness in kids.